I've been making art since I was a child in elementary school. I was that kid who always asked for art supplies for Easter, Christmas, birthday, whatever event came up. Um, I started painting more seriously in high school. I was introduced to oil paints then. And um, I changed to acrylics in the early 70s. Uh, they were pretty primitive at that time, more like poster paints, I think. Uh, but uh, they've really changed a lot and I've, I've continued to work with them and I really enjoy working with acrylics. In high school, as well, I was influenced by um, the Impressionist painters. Uh, I went on a field trip to New York City and saw Monet, and that really fired me up, and I wanted to figure out how to paint in a similar style. So I paint in an Impressionistic style. I call it Neoclassical Impressionism. So when I travel, I always try to take some supplies with me and do sketches, um, take photographs, I even work there on vacation sometimes. If I don't complete something or if I'm wanting to do more paintings, then I can refer to my photographs and my sketches when I return to my studio. The Icelandic paintings were really um, a, a lot of fun to do because the environment was so different. It's, it's really an amazing place. I encourage people to go see it. Um, the other paintings that are in, in the show are primarily landscapes, uh, a lot of sunsets that are done uh, in the Falmouth area, uh, and then there are some floral paintings, which I really love to um, capture the light and color of, of uh, plants and uh, mountains, trees, and those sorts of things. Also, there are quite a few sunsets in my show, and those, um, are the amazing play of light and color in the sky, uh, the way the clouds form, you know, patterns, and uh, the way that it all works together, and it changes constantly. So that's why, uh, why also a, a photograph works well for me.